What's going on guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we're getting ready to do a walk around on a 1970 Ford Mustang. 351 Cleveland under the hood, power steering, decent run and drive a car. Just got back from the test drive, so I want you to check that out. That way you know exactly what the car is before you came down here to Tennessee to buy it. A lot of people are asking about the video quality. This is a GoPro 7. I've got a link below. Take you straight to Amazon to see the exact camera that I have. I use it because you can replace the lenses. We're gonna start up here in the front. I just got back from a test drive. Like I said, this thing runs and drives great. I'm gonna connect that video to the end of this one so that you can easily access it. If you hit up maplemotors.com, you'll be able to see detailed photos get financing information, and we ship cars out of here every day. I believe this car used to be green. Looks like there's some right up under the front here. The bumper's got some chips in it. It's not perfect. Motor's nice and quiet. A little dirty up under the hood here. Could have did a little better job detailing it. We'll look down the side of the car. Any flaws, like I said, I'm gonna point them out. It's got a few little chips and stuff in it. It's like picked up some dirt from the road on the test drive. A couple chips on the bottom of the door there. Mainly looking for rust like that. There's some bubbles in the corner of the driver's door. And also right behind it, it's picked up some where the water's been sitting down in there. Tires are in great shape, set of American racing wheels. Or actually, these are Eagle alloys. Similar to the American racing wheels. A little bit of rust down here in the bottom. Corner there. Like I said, we're gonna point all that out. Cause I don't want you to get here and be upset. That's why we do these videos. I love the way that back end looks. Some paint runs up here. Put it on a little thick. Light scratches on top can be buffed out. It's almost like they had something that slid across the top. Could have been a box or something. I will be shutting the hood down here soon. I went ahead and opened it so I'm not flipping the camera around. Go ahead and open the trunk. Seal around the trunk. A little bit hard. Wouldn't be a bad thing to replace the seal. It's like a bird got me. Have to get that cleaned off. The mat in here looks fairly dry. Let's look up under there. Check up under the truck lid here. Got your spare tire in here. Taking up all of the trunk. Look at your panels. Pull my key out, see how easily it shuts. It's already locked. down this side of the car we're gonna start down here I don't see any rust in this back fender here down here this side looks decent all the way to that door passenger and driver door in the corner there have some bubbles popping up some rust coming through there just in the corners where the water holds the rest of the lower part of the car, I kind of walk it real slow. Looks pretty good. I mean, there's some scratches, some chips in the paint. It's going to be there. It's an older paint job for sure. See the clear coat's gone on top of the door here. 
door handles are in decent shape. Trying to get out of the light here so y'all could really see. Drum brakes all the way around on this one. All right, skip on up to the interior. I'm gonna listen to this car run. Door opens nice and easy. Panel looks good. Weather stripping's a little dry. Like I said, just the same with the truck. It can stand to be replaced. A little bit of surface rust popping through on the bottom of that door there. Got that red interior. Looks like the trim's been outlined in the blue. Got the horses in the seat. Go ahead and sit down in here. As far as gauges go, speedometer came up. Uh, water temp and oil pressure are working down there in the floor, and so is the gas gauge. Of course, it's unhooked up here on the tent, and your oil pressure's unhooked over here because it just moved it down there. Our windshield wipers do work. I need to get a blade for this one. and replace it so we don't mess up the windshield. does not work on this one seems like none of them work but that's a cheap easy fix you can add a button right here on the dash probably have a horn installed fairly cheap we don't get into all that here most of all these cars are exempt from inspection anyways because of the age I don't know about everybody's dates but here in Tennessee that is the case Motor's nice and quiet. Like I said, it does run and drive good. We'll go ahead and shut the hood down. A little stiff on the hood. I'm gonna have to lay y'all down here a second and uh, work this hood so I don't bend it. Probably need to lube up the screen. Usually if you rock it, you don't bend it. You don't wanna do that. Rock it down. Nice and straight. lines on the hood here. We do have a little bit of clear coat coming up on this hood. Couple chips. Clear coat on this side as well. I'd say car needs a paint job. Probably fix the bottom corners of those doors. And this back panel back here. Running and driving wise, it goes down the road nice and smooth. I want you to check out the test drive video. I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots real quick. We're gonna look up under the front. We're gonna do the driver's side, rear, and passenger. It 
let's head on over to the driver's door. Now to the rear. to the passenger side. Alright guys, I do appreciate you watching. If you have any other questions, hit us up on maplemotors.com. Got finance information. Our number's located on there. We can also ship these cars straight to your door. Close to 100 detailed pictures of every single car. Our inventory is updated once a week. We got a lot of trucks going on this Monday. Probably be doing some live videos here soon, so be looking for those. If you like the video footage, check it out. There's a link right below. You can get the exact same camera through Amazon. I do appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again, guys.